Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eden, and I'm from Common Ground and the Rockefellers. I'm going to teach you how to do the flare today. There are lots of great tutorials online, and lots of people have different ways of doing the flare. But this is the method that I used, which is really different from the normal way of doing it, and it's helped me a lot, so I hope it can help you too. It was first uh, mentioned to me by my friend B-Boy Leroy from Common Ground. So, have fun with it, and I hope you get your flare really, really quick. Alright, so here's step one. What you need to do first is to take off your shoes. Alright, here's the secret behind this method of doing the flare. The reason why we take our shoes off is to make our feet slippery and so we're not going to get friction as we learn this technique. I think it's more important to get your rotation before you fix your form. Because the form you can clean up and work on. But now what we're trying to do is get as many rotations as we can. So this is how we do it. We start on our knees and put our hands here. The first way of doing it is just to go from the back to the front by raising one arm. Just like this. You sit on your butt. How this works is with your this hand, you're going to do this cooling action. So I flare this way, so I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to pull and sit right here. Just like that. Once you're good at that, what you want to do is draw a bigger circle. And it goes like this. To the front, to the back. I'll show that one more time. To the front, to the back. So this hand is pulling me forward, and this hand is pushing me back. Same place. When you get good at that, we move on to the next step, which is the circular step. It looks like this. You draw a circle at one go. I'll show you that one more time. After that, instead of making it go in a V shape, you're going to make it even more circular, and it should look like this. Once you've got that rotation, instead of working on your form, work on getting as many rotations of this flare, of this crunched up kind of flare. And it should look kind of like this. It looks really messy right now, but bear with it because this is the trick behind it. The next step is to open up your legs slightly at the front. It should look like this. Open. Open. Your back is going to look messy. It's going to look a little bit like this. But that shouldn't matter because it's the rotations that we're trying to get, the amount of rotations. Now, I'm going to do three of them with the legs closed. And with the legs closed at the back, I'll open at the front. This should get you three simple flares. The next step is to make it clean. That's working on your form. And when you work on your form, you start off like this, with your legs apart. I'm going this way, so I'm putting my right hand down. I'm going to swing from the back, bring my legs up, and continue the rotations I did just now. Don't kick hard like this. Instead, what you want to do is calmly move yourself around the circle, and it will look like this. After that, what you want to do is you want to get higher at the back, simply by lifting your hips. Once you've got that, Try to clean it up at the back to make sure that your legs don't touch the floor anymore. This should start you on your lips. Alrighty, now that you've got it, we're going to work on cleaning up the flare. How we do this is first, stretch, stretch, stretch. In the front, you want your legs wide, and at the back, you want to bring your butt up as 
well as you can. This is what I do to make sure that my hips stay up. It looks like this. I go from a sweep, I pick my butt up, and I ride my left hand. What I mean by riding my left hand means I don't flare like this. You keep it up, so you're always pushing it out onto your hand. So you feel the weight completely there. When you swap sides, you feel it here. This is a little exercise that will help you bring your hips up. I'll show you that one more time. So you're gonna ride your left hand and imagine someone's pulling your hip up. This way. Now once you've got the rotation and you start cleaning it up, the flare should look tidier and it's time to put your shoes on and try it. But for right now, I'm just gonna do a few rounds so you can see what it looks like. I'll do, I'll do the progression from the start to the end. Thank you.